Yo, welcome back. It's fab time. It's the first fab after Christmas and the first fab before New Year, which means it'll be the first fab in January. It's a bit of a weird time for fab assets. Today, we've got the Sci-Fi Mega Spy Can, the Sci-Fi Corridor, and the Ancient Temple Ruins. This is some sort of like mega monster. We'll take a look at this in the game. Cool thing about this is it comes with two characters. There are no reviews for this currently, and this was published September 9th last year. Although if you're watching this in two days, it will be last two years. Then we've got the Sci-Fi Corridor. Again, this one's got no reviews. And this one came out March 2025. And then we've got the Ancient Temple Ruins. This one is a high uh, poly asset, runs on Lumen and Nanite, came out February 2024. And again, no reviews. Let's take a look at the low poly sci-fi corridor. Pretty simple asset, quite small as well. Not a huge amount to this. This is going to be props mainly, I presume, rather than a massive asset. So there's a lot of uh, props, but they're going to be reused, really. We'll take a look at those in a second. But not a huge, huge asset here, but still... You can see this in some sort of like dead space type game. Lower down the lighting on this. So there's quite a few props in here as you'd expect for a sci-fi thing. Fans, vents, uh, walls. Some of these could be cool sliding doors. Experiment tubes and stuff. Ladders, etc. I think the cool thing for me on this one is the amount of decals this one comes with. That's sort of a fun addition. Lots of different numbers and warning signs. And then same over here as well. These are the alpha cards for said decals so really quite a ni nice asset but just quite small as well now we'll take a look at the mega spy cam this is a really cool asset i like the looks of this a lot you can see the sort of size difference to our character here got a lot of attack animations we're sort of So there's all the locomotion animations in the back that we need. The backwards walk, the walk left, walk right. And then we've got the attack animations in the front as well. So this is a really cool asset. My only concern, and it's not a huge uh, concern, especially for the big one, is that we can't change the capsule size for a player. So we'd have to come up with a way of simulating or sorting out a new capsule or else we'll like slide through it here's the small lava one larvae here's the small larvae one i like this animation coming out of the ground that could look really cool and we've got some forward movement not as many animations as the big one but there's some attack animations and some walking animations and some uh, falling animations so quite a versatile set and super interesting to play with for sure. So here we have the overview for the temple, the modular temple. So you can see this is a really nice uh, tree. We've got pat level actors for these cliffs. It's always good to get uh, cliff actors and stuff. Cool trees, roots and foliage and then props to scatter on the ground, broken pots and stuff. Large temples. This is nice that we can just sort of break these out and put them. That's really cool. Smaller rocks. And some other foliage stuff. And then some stairs and other props too. And then we've got the massive architecture as well. So all of those small props make this big one, which is really cool to see about the versatility. And then sort of smaller designs as well. So this is awesome. It's all Nanite and uh, Lumen enabled requires PCG to fully make as well. So you got to make sure PCG is turned on. Here we have the modular asset that you can just sort of run around in. This is quite a nice uh, setup on here. It's quite a big asset as well. You just imagine coming through here in some sort of like Tomb Raider game, camera pans out, it's huge. That's that tree that I like.
So as a whole, this is just a really nice asset to uh, put in like your adventure game and stuff. Quite like this. And so that's it. Those are your free, free assets. Your free, free assets. That's a mouthful and a half. Two environments and a creature character, which is a really fun uh, creature character as well. I think these are pretty good. I would have liked to see more variety personally, but I'll take anything free that I can get. So let me know what you think. Have a great new year. I'm catching the next one.